All right, Matthew. Hello, Benjamin. What, what are we doing today? We're going to see Jenny. Who's, who's that? Well, Jenny is a new youth worker at St Mary's. Uh, well, in in the, in, in Cheshire, really. Oh, girls like flowers, don't they? We'll give this to Jenny as a present. They love flowers, don't they, they, they girls? They do. Girls love flowers. Excellent. I've got a good feeling about this. It'll be fun. Mm. I'm not sure Jenny knows what she's letting herself in for. Um, Matt's about to, to buzz the bell. Quite an exciting moment for, for both of us. For you two, I hope. Bell doesn't work. I've got a knock. Oh, Oof, good knock, good knock. What if we've got the wrong house? There's a person. The There's a person. Is it her? It is! We bought you a present. Because girls like flowers. It's a flower. Where are you from and why are you here? I'm from Sutton Coalfield in North Birmingham. Uh, and I'm here uh, as a youth worker for the parish of Great Chesham and in particular St Mary's Chesham. How old are you? I'm 24. Although I'm often told I don't look that old. How old are you told you look? The, the worst was 16, I think. But mostly people think I'm about 18. Do you take that as a compliment or as an insult? Um, I'm, I'm going through, through a phase at the moment where I'm beginning to take it as a compliment. But to begin with, it was definitely an insult. What did you do before you moved here then? Um, I was at a place uh, called Oak Hill, which is like a Bible college in North London. And then before that, I was a lay assistant like Matt. Uh, and before that, I was at Nottingham University studying zoology. I never wanted to be a zookeeper, and I still don't want to be a zookeeper. Um, yeah, it's animal biology. It's not quite as exciting. Whilst uh, Jenny and Matt get some drinks sorted out. I'm going to have a look round her house, see what we can find out about her. Um, and the first thing my eye is drawn to is, is over here, some unusual pictures. We have a um, large man and a, a child dancing. Um, oh look, Elvis. He looks quite Elvish, doesn't he? And look, here he is again. And again. <laughs> Do you particularly like Elvis Presley? I don't believe that he's still alive. Oh. Yeah. But does it border on an obsession with you? It used to, but I managed to, to, to rein it in and take control over my love of Elvis. How did you do that? I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favourite Elvis song? Um, I really like a song that not many people know uh, called Way Down. So yeah, Way On Down. That's the one. Yeah. I like that. Those are mine, they are. Pink, pink. coffee pots. Those, that side is not mine. This side is mine. Oh. She's got pink in her hair, look. You can just make it out. Yeah, <laughs> that's pink, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Grums. She's obsessed. Jenny, which is um, your favourite character to use in SSBM? <laughs> what SSBM? <laughs> um, Super Smash Brothers Melee. Have you not heard of it? Now that PlayStation 3 has been delayed till next year in the UK, are you going to buy an Xbox 360 or a Nintendo Wii this Christmas? It's all like another language, I have no idea. I can't believe it! So, would you care to enlighten us how you became a Christian? Uh, I was brought up in a, a Christian family, um, but it didn't really mean that much to me. I just kind of went to church and stuff. When I went to university, that was the really really key point because I went to a, a church there that taught the Bible um, really clearly and really well and for the first time um, I realised exactly what being a Christian really involved and I understood um, how Jesus came to die and to take away to take away our sin and to deal with it uh, and to take the punishment that we deserve and that's um, when I understood that um, that's when I became a Christian and decided to live all my life to follow him. And I realised that that meant that I had to make quite a few changes to my life um, as a result of that if I was going to live with Jesus as King. What sort of changes did you have to make? <laughs> um, I had to um, change what I was doing on Friday night. <laughs> so instead of going and getting drunk with uh, my mates, I um, 
was at the Christian Union meeting. I still went out with my non-Christian mates, I just didn't get drunk with them. Um, and it meant that I had to, I stopped going out with a non-Christian guy who, um, who wasn't very helpful for me. Um, and yeah, I just uh, had to stop doing things for myself um, and live all of my life um, to follow Jesus. That sounds really hard, why would you do that? Particularly about the relationship. <laughs> yeah, it was really hard. Um, but when you follow Jesus with all your life, um, it's, so, <laughs> it's so much better because you know um, that you're right with God, that you have a relationship with God. Um, and that one day um, you'll be with him when Jesus returns and he comes to judge. Um, you will be right before him and have um, eternity um, with him and not face the punishment that you deserve. So all of that far outweighs the difficulty of, um, of giving up stuff for Jesus. When you realise that the Bible um, is God speaking to you, um, it's just the most exciting book ever. Because, I mean, people often say, don't they, if only God would, like, you know, tell me what the world's about or um, come down and speak to me. And he has done. And when Jesus came down, the words that he spoke were, have been written down. Um, and, yeah, the Bible is God speaking to us, which is why it's the most exciting book that I own. So has the Bible changed your life? Yeah, totally.